Hello and welcome to another Tips and Tech review. This time we've got four bookazines from the publisher Mr Black Publications. They're all available from Hysterex agents and they sent us these review copies. What makes these four volumes different is that they are what's called theme collections. The idea behind the theme collection is that all the different articles that are in previous volumes are organised by theme. So if you're into a certain period, you can buy the volume that suits your interest as opposed to picking individual articles from the previous scale model handbooks. So the four different collections are as follows. Volume 1 is World War II German military forces in scale. Volume 2 is for modelers who are interested in knights and crusaders. Volume 3 is ancient warriors. And then there's a World War I or Great War collection. And that's volume 4. The presentation and style is the same. You've got award-winning models, plenty of box art, step-by-steps, dioramas and some details on vignettes, and plenty of techniques. The books are printed as high-quality digital prints, 300 GRS, 300 grams matte laminated covers, 150 grams inner pages, strong binding with a special glue, and excellent photo quality. As always, there's lots of different contributors and modelers, so you'll see lots of different styles within. What we can do, therefore, is run through the sort of articles you get inside each one and get a taste for what you can expect. If we start in numerical order, the World War II German military forces in scale has the following articles. You've got an SS Sturmbaum Führer of the Artillery from Picasso, interesting step-by-steps and, of course, plenty of excellent photography, followed by a Fallschirmjäger figure in 50mm, one ninth scale or 200 mil. There's a Waffen SS MG42 gunner, which is just spectacular, especially the face painting. And complex camouflage schemes are called out and explained. Klaus von Stauffenberg, or the Tom Cruise movie character, but they're always grouped around a certain technique. In this case, it's combining acrylics and oils for skin tones and leather. We've got a U boat crew, World War II. This is very useful. Sculpting German reversible winter parkas. This is 135th scale, but figure sculptors will love this. Then we've got an SS Standartenführer 1944, and this is how you paint a large scale bust. What we like are the little detailed sections about specific techniques, accompanied by plenty of imagery to guide you. In this case, a 200mm figure. It's always interesting to see how different figure painters approach face painting and getting to see a contrast in styles. And we finish off with a German paratrooper who loves to smoke. The Knights. This is a great period to model. Very enjoyable in terms of all the different techniques you can get. Uh, we start off with a Knight of the Holy Sepulchre Order on horseback. Pegasso, 54mm. Again, this is white metal, so interesting exposure to different techniques. And painting a horse, which is quite challenging. Then painting black and white are the sort of two challenges, really, of this era. And we've got a uh, Fratres Milichai, 13th century figure, 54mm once again. This is a colourful one, a roaming knight, 15th century, again on horseback. Again spectacular and amazing photography, as well as choice of colour for the actual finish. This one, Young Miniatures, 1 10th scale, a Templar knight. Another knight on horseback. Striking pose for this Templar knight, 12th century, 90mm. Knight Hospitalio. 13th century. And this one's interesting. It shows the making of a large scale bust master. And as always, accompanied by great text. And finished off with another knight. Volume 3 The Ancient Warriors in Scale. A Gallic chieftain. Very striking. Boudicca next. Painting female complexion and tartan. Effective uh, skin tones. And nicely explained there. Got a couple of barbarians, Germanic warriors. Interesting to see how to paint beard and hair. This is an example of where it's really useful 
this type of series because if you're not sure how to do something it gives you inspiration and instruction. A Roman from 180 AD, Greek hoplite, Praetorian guard, Marcus Antonius, how to paint a large-scale bust in acrylics and oils, and an article about portraying blood on figures. Interesting to see how to paint realistic red colour with this particular build. Followed by a Roman Centurion. In the World War I one, you get a sense of all the different content. You've got a mixture of sort of small dioramas, vignettes, and figures or busts. Start off with a Young's Miniatures Tommy. Then we've got a nice scene back to the front. How to build a World War I trench. Von Richthofen, the Red Baron. There's also a little bit of history which is pleasing to see. Got a small diorama next from the Gallipoli campaign. German Stormtrooper 1918. Another trench scene, the Periscope Rifle. Another Stormtrooper Battle of the Somme from Young Miniatures. And the famous scene after the gas attacks. Each figure explained in detail. What else have we got? We've got two British figures in a trench setting. And finally, an award-winning model at the end. So to give you an example, there's 82 pages in Volume 4, and they all tend to be around 82 pages. We hope you found that useful. It gives a quick insight into the content of these books. They really are a pleasure to own. They're beautifully presented, and there's quite a collection to build up if you're into your figure painting, bus painting, and so on. These are available from Hysterex Agents right now. Thanks for watching, and bye. Subscribe for our latest videos.